Welcome to step up number 125. Yes, it sounds like a small motorbike, but it's uh, our exercise class. Hopefully, let's get on with this. I'll we'll put you onto the main screen now. Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's all right. Uh, sorry about yesterday. Sorry, the, uh, the air pressure on my barometer was telling me that basically it was too low and I ended up with a migraine. That's what happens unfortunately with the heavy weather pressures coming in. I'm terribly sorry about that. I'm going to try and rectify that now with this session here. So today we've got a step up, so we're going to need a step, a mat if you need it, and water. That's about it. So I'm going to actually record Friday's session straight after this one because unfortunately I have to take my daughter on an excursion to uh, for a trip and I won't be back in time to actually start the uh, live stream so I'm going to record it and then uh, I, will, I will put it up on Facebook to link to YouTube okay uh, other than that that's all right for that hopefully everything else is going to roll quite nicely uh, the uh, intermittent fasting yes today was the last day and I have done my measurements and they have not changed whatsoever at the moment but a week is not a long time also remember I have also lost a lot of water mass from the illness so it will progressively get uh, slow down so I'm going to extend it and I might come back to I'll, I'll probably come back to you every Wednesday and give you a report so you know what to expect one of the things that I completely forgot about when I was doing uh, intermittent fasting was how hungry you are when you normally want to eat. And then after that period's gone, you're fine. So like when breakfast comes around, you think, well, I'm not really hungry. And suddenly everyone else is eating breakfast and you think, I'm hungry, but you're not. It's a hormone called ghrelin coming into your body being uh, telling you that you are hungry even though you're not. Uh, if that happens I tend to take two glasses of water and it sorted out quite nicely and I can go up until one o'clock after that quite easily. Right, much, uh, let's, well let's get on with it. I'll have to move this over slightly, sorry this screen over, not, well, not your screen. Good morning everyone. Sorry, I couldn't see the actual comments because they've changed everything around again. They've moved the comments onto the wrong side. Right, so I think what we'll do is we'll start with a warm up. We'll start off on the actual board. So we're just going to do order it up, up, down, down. So this is the basic. We will be doing three sets of the exercises on that side. I wanted to point to that side. I always want to point to that side now. So we'll go through it because there are step exercises in there. There is a difficult one, which I will show you regressions of. It's called the tight right press up. Good for working your chest and your triceps. So nice and easy. <coughs> right. Okay, if I do actually have to stop for a moment, Please excuse me, I've still got a headache, so too much bending down will raise my blood pressure and create a headache. So that's why you've got to be careful as well with headaches and migraines. And let's change feet. So don't worry, I'm not going to collapse on you. Just need a moment just to re, re, uh, rebalance myself and get going again. I'm sure you'll be alright as well. That's it, do well. Nicely warming up. <coughs> right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna step off the board and we're gonna push forward, cross those arms, make sure you put a different one to the top. So I'm going pink top, green top. Don't like choosing t-shirts. Go, let's reach up now. Just nice reach up into the air. Almost like you're trying to do a, a wave, a Mexican wave. That's 
it? Little bounces while I'm like, little bounces while that. That gets your knees and your hips going. And we're going to go back onto the up, up, down, down with the foot you've just left. So I'm using the green one. Start off, I'm going to explain. So keep marching on the spot, nice easy march on the spot. I'm going to move to the side. What we're going to do is I'm going to do some squat jumps first. So squat jumps, hips back, hands forward, push back, and try and lift off that ground. If you don't want to do high impact, you can always go alternating knee rises. If you don't want to do that, you can always go to calf raises. If you don't want to do that, just do squats. The higher you go, the harder it's going to be. Are you ready? Three, two, two one. one, and let's go. That's it, nice and easy. If you're doing it right, you shouldn't actually be getting any pain or anything, or any headache or anything like that, because you're not raising your blood pressure. One way to start up the exercise would be a really horrendous leg exercise. 10 seconds. Five. Three. Two. One. one. Excellent. Go. We'll just have a quick, quick rest. And we're going to do up, up, down, down. Or do up, up, down, down. So that's quite simple. It's up, up, down, down. When I say change, we'll change whichever foot. You know the score. Bring your breath back. Two, Are you ready? One. Up, up, down, down. One side for 20 seconds. That's it, good. Five seconds left, then we'll change the legs. Two, one, and change the legs. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Right, I'm going to change the mat, the board, slightly that way. We're going to do re uh, deficit reverse lunges. So get onto your step, careful, especially the smaller ones. What we're going to do is go and lunge back and come back up again and change sides. If that's too difficult, just do it on the flat floor. Three, two. Or don't go down as far. Exercise three. Right, let's go. Keep your back up nice and straight. Tummy nice and tight, look forward. Try and feel that nice stretch as well in your thigh. The further you go down, you're the more you're going to work your hips, your thigh, your glutes. Fifteen seconds. Whoops. Watching the time then, and you step right. Three, Three two, two, one. Uh, right. Exercise. I'm going to turn this my board to face you as we go straddle it. We do straddle up, up, down, down. So we're going to go up, up, down, down. When I say change, you change the feet. Quite simple. We're going to do. We're going to keep keep repeating Three, these throughout two, the exercises. One. Right, let's exercise go. Four. Just a bit faster than normal. 
Try and be careful with not stepping right on the edge of the, uh, the board of the step and flipping it over. You can do this quite easily on the smaller steps or the longer ones. The higher the step, the harder it is. And change feet. Next one's the hard one. I'll have to explain to you very, very quickly. Three, two, one. Right, as we move fast away, so what we're going to do is we'll get down into a press up position. If you want to do it on your knees, do it on your knees. Quite slightly a bit wider. The tight right to press up is you go down to the ground and you go to one side and to the other. That is difficult. If you want to do it easier, Bring your hands in closer, Three, don't go down as far. Two, just go from one, one side to the other. Exercise five. If you get pain in the arms or anything like that, just do ordinary press ups. You can do it on your knees, you can go from one side to the other. As long as you stay with contraction in your chest, you've been working hard. So let's get going. It's a hard one, this. So I'd like to know which one you do. I don't mind having a rest halfway through this one. Three, two, one. Change exercise. Hard, isn't it? I think it's a put down down now. So I can, t I can tell you that is a difficult one. It's a really advanced press up. So if you did it, Three, two, brilliant. One. Exercise six. There is a different version of that one called an arch press up, where you go from one side, you press it up, go down, go down the other side. Almost like arch swap sides. Almost like you're actually trying to pull a ball. You get the ball string. What we're, gonna do, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a plank row. So I'm gonna use the board. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the board down. You don't have to, you can do. Put your hands on the board, I won't put them on the side because what you're gonna let go of one hand. So we're gonna get up into a plank position and we're gonna pull back to see, see your hands go to your waist. Doesn't matter if you rock a little bit as long as you don't rock too much. Try and keep that bottom down as possible. Really work on that breathing. Don't hold your breath. Trying to stop the high blood pressure from going to your head by making it a movement instead of just an isometric. Three, the wider your feet two. are, the easier it's going to be. Change exercise. Right, straddling the book down downs. Gosh, it's going fast. In three, two, one, one. straddle the book down downs. Bottom of one end, lie down, try not to let your head go all the way back. You're going to keep your hands on your thighs, press your arms, down your head, and you're going to pull up and then down. 
Uh, so what do I do? So it's up, hold, and down. But remember to breathe, don't hold your breath at the top. That's it, good. If you want a harder one, you can put your knees up. Ten seconds. Just do it the other way around, I can't slip on. Three, two, two one. one. Really right. Size. Right, we can use a step on these alternate toe touches. So what we're going to do is, you can, if you want an advanced version, stand on it and then go down and touch. Alternate, middle, other side. See how far you can get down the board? If you can't, you can always Three, use the board two, as what you touch. One. Exercise 10. Okay? So pick whichever poison you want to touch yourself with and let's get going. Try and keep that back nice and straight and those legs straight as well. Try not to round those shoulders. And be careful, especially being on one of these. You don't want to fall forward because you will actually fall a little bit harder than normal. Try and come up fully each time you've actually touched one part of the board or your foot. See, I can get about an inch down. Three, and I'm not very two, flexible that way. One, water Brilliant, break. water break. How do you do? How do you do on the typewriter press ups? Do you do them or do you do an ordinary press up? It doesn't matter, but I've lighted up just in case. Well, just in case of something. Oh, lovely water, lots of it. <coughs> right, squat jumps. So remember, if you want to do low impact version, you can do squat, knee raise, as long as you don't twist, otherwise you'll twist that knee down there. Or you can go into calf raise instead, or just do a squat. For those people who want to do a squat jump, I do it, I never do it on anything risen. Because especially with something like that, if you landed it wrong, you're over. Right, so 12 seconds, squat jumps. Five, four, three, two, one. I said, let's go squat jumps. Nice and easy. Trying to get your heart rate up. I try and use my hands almost like a, a paddle. It's almost like you're trying to force me up. It doesn't, but it helps. Imagine when you're getting up. If you want to push on your thighs to help you get up, you can do, but I tend to think that people push the knees out, and that's a bad thing to do. Three, oh five, sorry. Three, two, one. Change exercise. Oh. That's one problem with fasting beforehand. Your endurance goes quicker. We'll put down, down next. Three, two, one. Right, let's go. Changing three. One and change. Doing well, five seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Brilliant. Deficit reverse lunges. So remember, start on the on the bar, box step bench, whatever, and we're going to step back. 
Always make sure that you clear round everywhere. If you could have if whenever you exercise, always stick your arms out. If you can touch something, it should be moved just in case. If you're doing traversing, you need to do that all the way from start, middle, end. Right, what I want you to do is I want you to just look down, almost like you're looking through your nose, at your knee to see if it's over your toe. If it's wiggling or wobbling, put your, oops, put your hand on it and stop it from moving. Now I see a lot Three, of people when they do these, two, they go like that and the knee wobbles around. Exercise. Right, straddle up, up, down, downs. Oh, it's a bit warm, it's a bit close. What's the temperature? Just looking at my temperature. 22 and a half. Three, two, one. Right, let's go. Exercise four. So, like tap down. Jenny, five, two, one, and change. Try to keep that momentum going. Press up next. Ooh. Three, two, one. Change exercise. Excellent. Right, I'm this out of the way now. Tap right to press ups. Remember, get down slightly wider. What I tend to do is move my hands a bit further out to a 45 degree angle or directly 90 degree angle from the body. Three. So you're two, actually not putting pressure on your wrist. Exercise five. Right, so let's get going. Try and keep as low as you can. Remember to breathe. A lot of people forget to breathe on this one. And four seconds is a long time to hold your breath whilst exercising. Even I'm struggling now. Keep slipping on the floor. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. one. Change exercise. Right, up, up, down, down. Quite a relief actually compared to what we've just been doing. I think it's sweaty palm there. So you might want to uh, have a gym towel with you if you ever do anything like that. Three, you find that you get two, sweaty palms, one. wipe it off. Exercise six. And it's a lot easier that way. Changing legs now. Oh, what have you done? elevated slightly because you're less uh, parallel to the floor. Three, two, one. Remember your hands need to go to your shoulders anyway, so pull up to your waist. A little bit of a wobble spine. I'm going to put my feet together to actually make that exercise a lot harder, really work my core a lot more. But if you have problems, it doesn't matter if you like that. So you've been noticed my sway now is a lot less than it is when I'm like feet together. I've got a lot more sway because I've got to manoeuvre myself over the supporting arm. Three, two, one. Change exercise. Straddle up, 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 down, down. Let's 
straddles. A little bit like what the foot rollers do. It's rather pertinent to the football that's going on at the moment. Sorry, I don't follow football, so I don't know the name of it. Three, two, one, and change sides. Seconds. Three, two, one. Change really add crunch. This time I'm going to do it on the mat. Just to get a full rounded thing, I'm going to face that direction this time. So my feet then to three angles. I like to actually, again, the closer your feet, the harder it is because you're wobbling around as well. Try not to bring your chin up to your chest, so if you can watch me, you'll notice that notice there's a good probably fist and a half between my clavicle and my chin, and that position never changes. I'm looking at my lovely uh, unplastered ceiling, it's to be done. I was rubbish at plastering. Five seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Change right, the right. What else have we got? Oh, yeah, it's toe touches. All the toe touches. So I'm going to do it on the box again. Unfortunately, my feet overlap slightly, so it's hard to actually tap the box on my, on my toes because I've got to go around them. Right, so remember it's hinging at the hips, trying to keep those legs nice and straight. Put, uh, put your hips back and remember to always stand up afterwards. If you get dizzy, slow it down. <clears throat> Excellent, good work. Seven seconds left. Two, one, I'm going to do the last one just to finish it off. Brilliant, right, water break time. This is the one downfall of actually fasting before doing let's say, heavy cardio. Because if, you, if, you, if you're depleting your energy, your body has to re, uh, requisition it. Basically, because your liver gets changed, uh, your, your glycogen gets changed into glucose, but it's working a lot more, so it's harder. So you will find, at the moment, my legs are slightly shaking, because it's trying to actually recruit as much oxygen and energy as possible, but it's all this trickle feeding it through. So rest, especially when fasting, is paramount. You need to rest, otherwise you'll end up just being like a jelly mass on the floor. Knowing that, if you start feeling it, have a rest, get a, brief, uh, get a breath for it once, twice, then go back at it. You don't have to do it hammer and tongs, especially when fasting. If you know you're doing a heavy day, don't fast that day. Make sure that you actually eat so you actually got the energy to actually deal with it. There's always ways. Right, squat Three, jumps. Two, <clears throat> one. Right, let's go. Six, <clears throat> So again, with this one, it's harder with your legs close together because you're more unstable. You probably heard my spiel on that thousands of times now. You can hear it a thousand more as well. So make sure that your hips are always back. No pain should be in your knees. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Change oh gosh, I'm really feeling that today. Up, up, down, down. So 
three seconds. Three, two, two, one, and let's go. So is it worth fasting whilst doing cardio? Yes, as long as you're safe, as long as you're careful. And we're actually another class member just going past there, one of the old ones. And change feet. I would say yes. So what we're doing is we're actually burning the fat more than just burning what you've eaten three or four hours beforehand. It is harder and you will feel weaker as I've said. Three, but it's not two, for everybody. One, Personal preference. Exercise. Right. Deficit reverse lunges. One thing you'll actually never hear me say two, is one, basically it's a diet. Three. Go on a diet. I never use the word diet for healthy eating. If you change the way you eat, it's still a diet. If you eat just bars of chocolate, it's a diet because a diet is what you eat to sustain yourself. If you eat nothing but locusts, it's a diet. healthy eating. So if you want to go into a intermittent fasting, healthy eating system, up to you. If you want to do keto, Three, two, it's up to you. One. Right! Exercise. Straddle put down downs. Five seconds, three, three two, two, one, and let's go. Exercise four. Change your feet, three, two, one, and change. Right press ups. So, with these, I'm actually asking you to do an awful lot in 40 seconds. Normally, you're only supposed to do around about 8, Three, 10, two, I'd say. Exercise 5. So, I'm going to count out. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. I'm leaving it there. As you can see, most people can't even do 40 press-ups. That is very hard doing 40 of those. So if you do eight of those, have a rest. Eight more, have a rest. Six more, have a rest. Six more again, have a rest. Three, Three two, more. One. Keep on doing that. Exercise six. Right, so up up down downs, I think. <clears throat> Must admit, feel nicely pumped around there. Biceps and triceps. Legs, sorry, I've got some legs. Plank Three, roll next. Two, one. I'm just going to start one second. Two, one, plank rows. <clears throat> and we go back to the box again. Again with the uh, tight press up. I won't press down right on the edge. 
flip up. The smaller the base, the easier it is to flip it up. Exercise seven. So pull it up. I like to twist my hand slightly. So it almost like so it's like I'm putting my hand in my pocket. Oops. The board slipped on the block on the floor. I need to get new feet for these. So I'm sort of sliding around. Ten seconds. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Three. Two. two one. one. Change exercise. Right, so straddle put down downs. Yeah, they're being worn away. Sometimes it's easy to actually just teep just to buy a new board. Right. Use my sweat bands. Three. Two. One. I'll put down downs. Exercise eight. We will use the floor for stretching, not the, not the board, except for a stretch, which I, I, I quite like. And change sides. No, so I'm slowing down slightly now. Back and speed up. So since we're not using the board as much, I'm actually going to go and why don't we do the toe touches now and do the ab crunches that we're already on the floor. Three. Let me two, just turn itself off. One, Sorry about that. Exercise nine. Right, so toe touches. So we don't have to get up again. You can't say I'm not nice. Yes, you can actually, but. <clears throat> 15 seconds. Five seconds. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Change exercise. Brilliant, right. I'm going to try and put the music back on quickly. If we get down on your bike. As she says, let's get down. Have crunch time. Three, two, uh. one. Exercise. Oh, let's go on. And down. Excellent. What we're going to do now is bring it up, hold it, and pulse up and down. Very slightly. And down. That's it. I want to do one. One pulse. Just to really work those abdominal muscles of yours. But I hope you breathe through it. Again, it's one of those things where people tend to hold the breath. Three, two, one. Cool down. Really, cool down. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lie here on the floor and not do a thing. Right, straight legs. One leg up, nice and straight. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Oh, sweaty hands. Losing my grip. Of reality. I can't see if my leg's straight. If my leg's not straight, tell me. Right, pull it into your chest. Shut up and sit down. We're going to change legs in three, two, one, and change legs nice and straight. So I'm watching the clock at the moment because I'm timing this one.
I'm pulling into your chest. Hold it tight. Seconds left on this one. Five, three, two, one, and down. We're going to get, now get up. Be nice and easy about it. Nice and slow. Don't want to rush it too much. Don't want to get a head. head, head uh, this. <laughs> Dizziness. Right, we're going to open our arms up. We're going to stretch that chest. Turn the hands over, press back. Get a bit more stretch in your shoulders and your chest. Try to keep those shoulder blades down. Two, one, and we're just going to stretch it up now. So our hands are into this, turn your hands over, press up. Hold it for three, two, one, and release. And thank you very much. It was a very quick stretching session. That but doesn't matter. Thank you all for coming. And I'll see you all on Friday, or in about 10, 15 minutes, when I, do the next, when I record the next one. Hope you enjoy, uh, enjoyed this session. Hope you enjoy the Friday session. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to have an interaction with you. But just give me a message anyway. It doesn't matter. I quite like reading your comments. But thank you very much all for coming. I'll uh, see you later. Have a nice, healthy day. Uh, God bless and enjoy this heat, even though it's a bit cloudy. Take care, all. Hey, so nice, sweaty one. That's good. Brilliant. Keep it going. <laughs>